Yeah. Play a T, that's me. Uh-huh. Hollywood. Right here with Trinity Training Corporation. Yeah. Right here. Development Corporation. Doing it really, really big. Yeah, I got Miss Carol Austin and Miss Angela Garrett yeah. in the house with us tonight. Yeah. How y'all doing, ladies? Fine, how are you? I'm great. Thank you for coming on board, you know, taking your time out being with us. Really appreciate that. I mean, because, you know, you must have a nurturing heart to do what you do. Now, you've been in it, we were talking in the back for two years. Yes. What has that been like? What, what have you been doing in those two years with Trinity Training Corp- Development and Corporation? Okay, well, initially, initially we started... Um, as Trinity's Training and Development, and we develop Trinity's Training and Development Corporation, which is a nonprofit organization. But um, I resigned my position two years ago as a call center manager, and what I wanted to do is to help small businesses. I, I had a problem with customer service going into a lot of businesses, and the customer service wasn't great, and especially in a black community. So what I started doing was mystery shopping small businesses. On your own? On my own. Mystery shopping reporting to who? To whoever the owner was. What? <laughs> How would you like that? Somebody you at work, you got somebody coming in mystery shopping. They ain't with no corporation but their own. Snitch it. <laughs> well, you didn't mind, but you took a, you seen an opportunity. There that's right. Sure. Actually, seen an opportunity there. So I started, you know, talking to the owners, offering services to them, things that I can do to help improve their customer. I have been out of the loop in the Cleveland community for some time. And I started interacting with children, and I realized that there is a lost culture in the African-American community. I have so many friends that's multicultural from so many different areas, so what I wanted to do was to help reinstill culture in the African-American youth community. Is that what you think was missing, like morals and values? Yes. Like when, when you were doing your mystery shopping and going into these places and dealing with bad customer service, you just felt like there was a disconnect with the youth? No. I started interacting with the children in the community. I actually had a client in the Buckeye area, the client that I worked for. I started a lot of interaction with the youth in the community. And I realized that the youth in the community didn't really have a lot of, I'm sorry, a lot of culture. So positive competition is one of the programs that we offer. There was no positive competition between, you know, the black the ch- children in the community. So you sought out to establish positive competition. Now give us an example of your positive competition. Well, one of the things that we're doing right now is we have a talent show that we're doing auditions for uh, March 9th at Mitchell's, but it's going to be on April 13th at Mitchell's in Euclid. Now you're saying you got positive competition going on between the northeast, west, and south side of Cleveland where you got a talent show and, and you're fostering a competition positively to push young people. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-mm, good. Rolling bean pie. The best on earth. Baked freshly daily. Rolling bean pie. Get yours today. Call us at area code 216-355-9702. We will deliver to you. Call us. Get yours. Now, bean pie. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, I love it. Wow, that's big. I mean, to, to take interest in the youth in the community, you know, that you got to have some type of gall. What attracted you, Angela, to Carol and her mission to where you wanted to be a part of it? Well, I actually uh, started in the nursing field, and uh, I just enjoy helping others and taking care of people. And when we got together, we collaborated, and we had the same vision, and we just decided to do it. Right. Now, what was one of the first projects you worked on with Carol together? Actually, this is. Oh, uh, this the, here right mm-hmm. here? Yes. Were you very, are you very impressed going through the process? Yes. At first, I was trying to do it uh, by myself. but uh, Before you got w- with Carol, you were on the same road trying seeking to do it by yourself. Yes, but I was uh, seeking out... Um, Women that was on drugs, short women trying to get their children back, um, things like that. Uh, I actually wanted to do um, uh, transitional. Home. Yeah, transitional home for men for when they get out of jail, help them find jobs. Right. You know, because it's hard right. out here. So it seems you like you wanted to address a couple stones going on in the community. You want yes. to turn over a few stones. Yes. You know, where you bring bringing culture to the community. Mm-hmm. 
awareness, you know, you want to, you know, you're offering small business services, you know, things of that nature, you know, so what do you look to do in the future with your, you know, because it seems like you're in a couple different things, so it's got to be challenging to go at them all at one time, are you looking to expand your, your, your organization, or, you know, what's the setup look like in the next couple? Yeah. Well, in the next seven, well, within the next year, what we actually hope to do is the youth in our program is take 50 children to Africa every year annually. Oh, is that, yes, wow, that's ambitious, yeah, yeah. huh? That's real yeah. Good. Now, what kind of youth? At risk youth? Uh, you know, intellectual youth that trouble you, know, you. trouble you. Mm -hmm. But we don't really want to discriminate just toward t trouble youth, any youth. We actually have programs that are not geared for youth that are in trouble. Right. Now, where did this come from in you ladies? I know you got a background in nursing and in and, and the industry you were in, but where, d where did this come from? Well, it's actually always been a love for me. Like, I have so many, so many children in the, in the community, period. Um, fortunately, I came from a home where I had both of my parents and a few extra <laughs> parents, too. <laughs> but, I mean, I read Did that make all the difference? It did. It did for me. So is it a thing about you want to step into people's lives and, and, and fill voids? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and I've been doing that for quite some time. Like I said, I have so many children that, you know, have had turbulent lifestyles, you know, where their parents were on drugs, and I took them into my home and took care of them, and, and it's been that way for me always. Are you guys open to help? Like if people want to reach out to you and, you know, you know, donate to the cause or, you know, not just money but time and resources? Are you guys open to that? Absolutely. We yeah. actually have um, programs available where, you know, if anybody needs to do community service, they can come in and, you know, do community right? service for us. So, yeah, we have. You hear that, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> you got a place you can go to. It's in the hood, too. It's, it's in the hood? You know, okay. And one of the other things that I want to really um, say is that we just recently purchased a building on 123rd and oh! well, and it needs to be renovated. Oh. Now, what are you planning to do in that building? Well, we it has 10 suites upstairs, so we plan to have transitional homes in the 10 suites upstairs, a food pantry um, on one side, and then our programs on the other side. But the food pantry is not just a food pantry. You know, if you need something, sugar, instead of going to your neighbor's <laughs> home, you can come is that to right? us and get it. And sure. not just that, <laughs> and, and not just that, but also provide you know, hot meals for children in the neighborhood. We right. need these ladies, huh? <laughs> we need to embrace these ladies. Huh? We need to embrace these ladies. Hey, when you see these ladies on the street, just stop and give them a hug. For real. You know, they deserve it. And some money. And some money. And some money. <laughs> Where can they reach you at if they want to give you some money? Uh, TTNDCorp.org. Give it up. Trinity Training and Development Corporation. Play a T, that's me, 